But first tonight, tensions before Election Day. Good evening, I'm Julie Luck. And I'm Chad Silver. The State Board of Elections is looking into more than a dozen cases of voter intimidation, including one in Guilford County. WFMI News 2's Grace Holland is looking into the allegations and the security plan at precincts tomorrow. The State Board of Elections is investigating 15 reports of intimidation during early voting. They say the number is pretty normal. What isn't is the kinds of cases they're seeing. In Columbus County, an election observer reportedly followed poll workers in their car. There are several incidents around the state of people photographing or recording voters. In Guilford County, the State Board of Elections says a campaigner photographed voters. Guilford County Board of Elections Director Charlie Collicutt gave some more insight. He said in a statement, it really was more of a fight between electioneers outside the buffer zone, which included a loud verbal altercation, phone recording each other, and an accusation that voters were told to use another entrance. Voters may have been present and trying to enter while this went on. The basic rules of these are simple. Campaigners can be set up outside of a polling place and can hand out flyers, but must be about 50 feet from the polling location's entrance, which should be clearly marked. Inside the polls, voters cannot record video or take pictures even of your own ballot. Political science professor Martin Kiefer says whether you're voting or observing, it's important to be respectful. You don't want to do things that would keep people from getting into the polling place. You don't want to say or do things that might uh, make them feel like they're unsafe. If you suspect someone else is intimidating voters, you can report it from two poll workers. State Board of Elections Director Karen Brinson Bell says election security is their top priority. Our passion and our commitment as an election professional is to see that this, you know, that we're able to conduct safe, secure, fair, and free elections, and that is our, our objective. Collicutt says there are no plans to increase uniform security at polling places, but he says he does have a security plan in place with local law enforcement if needed.